Hi guesties and welcome to your last episode of GAC TV before spring break. I'm Shelby Wilds. And I'm Cammie Bayer. And this is our Woman Power episode. Starting us off is Tashiana Thurick interviewing members of the Gustavus Women in Leadership organization to find out how these powerful women are impacting campus. This week I spoke with Kathy Thunheim and Ellen Kruger about the upcoming Gustavus Women in Leadership Conference. This year, the conference will be held at the American Swedish Institute in Minneapolis on April 10th. The topic of discussion is Leadership for the Greater Good, How Talented Women Thrive. The Gustavus Women in Leadership Conference is going to be on April 10th this year at the American Swedish Institute, and it is put on by the Gustavus Women in Leadership Organization, which is a student and an alumni group. Um, and it's just the purpose of it is to help students and alumni interact and empower women to be leaders in every area of their life. This is the fourth annual Gustavus Women in Leadership Conference. Uh, the first two conferences were held here on campus and now our fourth one is at the American Swedish Institute. And it's about um, leadership for the greater good, how women in leadership thrive. And so the focus of this conference is to really help women no matter where they are living out their vocation, whether it's in a for-profit corporation, whether it's working for a nonprofit at a church, uh, whether they're a stay-at-home mom, whether they're a full-time volunteer, that whatever community they're in, they can thrive. We have two keynote speakers, one from Deloitte, uh, one from a nonprofit technology firm, both are Gusty grads, and then we have four or five breakout sessions. And each of these women are going to talk about their journey, their story, and then what kind of what advice they can give to younger women, middle-aged women, and older women. At the conference, we would like to see students, faculty, alumni, and friends of the college. And that you don't have to be a woman to attend. We also have some men who are attending this year as well. It's $25, and our hope, and we were successful at this last year, is we've refunded the money afterwards because so many alumni give extra money. It kind of goes along with the purpose of the organization, that it's empowering women to become leaders in every aspect of their life and for the greater good. Yes, you can go to work every day from 9 to 5 and you can be a leader in that way, but you can also be a leader, like I said, in a church organization, at a book club, in your family. And so for the greater good, it's just there's more to life than your job. The mission of that club, we have um, a student club here, we have currently three uh, kind of co-presidents, Caitlin Byer, Rochelle Blaschko, and Ashley McCalco. They're all three seniors. They lead a student organization. We have about 10 vice presidents who lead this organization. About 100 women students belong and about five men. They are the student chapter. But we also have a bigger executive team of alumni. My hopes for GWIL is that it will be a safe place for both men and women to just express who they are and to develop leadership skills. 50% of the population are females. I believe about 50% of our students are females. And so this conference gives a really nice learning opportunity for half of the students and the employees here. Often places that are hiring are in the business world. So to understand as a woman how to operate, how to be successful in the business world, that isn't always coached or taught in textbooks or um, you know in business classes. So this is kind of a nice way to help young women learn how to do that successfully and be able to advocate for themselves when they get into the business world, which is still pretty um, male dominated. I think my final words would be the conference is an exciting and energizing day. It's a full day with incredible speakers, anywhere from Mary Brainerd, the CEO of Health Partners, to Patricia Mitchell, the CEO of Ordway. And it just, it's again, it's a safe space for students and to interact with alumni and faculty and start to develop those skills and start to be inspired by all the strong and successful women around them and the men who are also gonna be attending. It's just, it's a wonderful, wonderful day. Tickets for the GWIL conference are available on GustavusTickets.com. Reporting for GAC TV, I'm Tashiana Thurick. Thanks, Tashiana. And on to our next two powerful women. Elena and Devin are at it again with another question of the week. 
This week, Gusties were asked what well-being meant to them. You have all these certain characteristics that make you a super awesome person. Well-being to me is helping young people with math. I try and get as much sleep as possible, and if I don't get a lot of sleep, then I'll try and take a nap during the day. Admiring the things around me, enjoying the weather, um, spending time with my friends, and you know, just, just being chill. I hang out with friends, I get a good night's sleep. Being healthy and exercising and eating well. How about you? All of those things as well. Thanks, Elena and Devin. And remember to continue supporting women by attending Vagina Monologues. Performances are Saturday at 8 and Sunday at 2 in Alumni Hall. That's all we have for you tonight, Gusties. I'm Cami Byer. And I'm Shelby Wilds. Keep, Keep it classy, Gustavus. What does well-being mean to you? <laughs> I don't live very well. Bad. Bad. Just ate a whole bag of chips and... No regrets. <laughs>